Hello all. This is a short video on how to do a paired t-test in Excel 2016. So with a paired t-test, what you're interested in is the difference between, usually there's a before and after group. So these are not independent samples here. These are samples where this one on this one date, like household number one, is linked to this date. So it's the same household, and we're just looking at the change after an intervention in this case within an energy conservation workshop. And this is made up data. This is not a true study. This is an example. So with a paired t-test, usually you have um, some sort of intervention and you have either the same location, the same person, the same family, the same company, before and after. So they, they're paired together, which is different than a t-test where you have a sample from you know, one place and a sample from another and you're comparing the samples. Because they're paired, what we're actually interested in here is what happens over time. So the first thing we want to do is calculate the difference from here to here. Okay. We get the difference there. And what we're going to look at, we're going to treat this as our sample. That's our difference. And we're going to say, from this sample, can we determine that the population from which this sample is drawn has a mean that's different from zero. So our null hypothesis is that the mean equals zero. The mean of the differences equals zero. Our alternative hypothesis that we're testing for is that the mean does not equal zero. We could also say <clears throat> the mean is greater than zero, the mean is less than zero, but in this case we wanted to be open to maybe the workshop makes people use more energy, maybe it makes them use less, we don't know. So we're just going to see if it does not equal zero. So let's calculate um, these, these variables. So first we want to know how many we have here. We can calculate that. And then we're going to calculate the mean. And the standard deviation. And when you use STDEV, it automatically takes the standard deviation of a sample. If you want the standard deviation of a population, you need to put dot P. So now our standard error is going to be our standard deviation over the square root of the sample size. That's how you calculate standard error. So it's going to be standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. Okay. Our T what we're interested in is the difference between the mean we calculated here. I'm just going to get rid of some of these decimal places. Our mean and zero. So it could be like t minus mu, and the mu is zero. t minus zero over our standard error. But since we're subtracting zero, we don't need, don't need to do that. So we can just say our t is equal to our mean divided by our standard error. And now we're going to compare that to our critical t, or our cutoff at the 95% confidence level, so our alpha equals 0.05. So our critical T, we're going to use TINV. We want 5% probability, so that's 2.5% in each tail. And our degrees of freedom is going to be our sample size minus 1. Okay, so there's our critical T. So note that our Calculated T of 2.851 is higher than our critical T, which means we are going to reject the null hypothesis and say that with a 95% probability level, this these results um, would not happen if the true population of results was zero. So in other words, if this had no impact, so the difference would be zero. Um, we wouldn't get these results. So the other thing you can do is you can go into data analysis. And you find here t-test paired to sample for means. Click OK. And then you're going to highlight the data you want before and after. So just to get rid of what was already there. So I'm going to, for this, I'm going to put in include the label here. I'll put in that. This one I'll put in this. I'm going to say yes, there's labels. My output range is right, I'll just put it right there. 
Click OK. And there I get my nice results, which should be the same as the results I got here. If not, I made a mistake. Okay, that's all. I hope that was helpful.